Hi, welcome to CLCMA. In this video, we are going to learn about the ATT model of STLC model and its phases or the stages that are used to develop a software or to build any software systems. So, let's start more detailed descriptions about the ATT model. ATT model introduction. ATT model is one of the most important model of the STLC software development life cycle models that doesn't require the complete requirement to develop any software system or the project or we say is that the ATD model doesn't require the complete requirement before the project starts when we have the few, few requirements about the system or the project we don't have to panic about the full complete requirement when we have the less requirement about the systems or these requirement might be extend into the futures and we can start working onto the iterative model. Iterative model uses the phases to develop a software process and these process is repeating and allowing new versions of the product for the every cycles. And the process progress is easily measurable but uh, isn't suitable for the small project because it uh, used to develop the large product or the long term project. Example of iterative models are the rational, rational unified process that, that is developed by the International Business Machine which is IBM and here is the iterative model phases. The first phase of the iterative model is the requirement analysis in which requirement is gathered from the user that uh, is not uh, gathered at, at a time this might be updated into the time to time and here the requirement is collected and analyzed and after analyzing the complete requirement then the system is system design is performed and the design after the complete designing of the system and coding of the system then the testing operation is performed testing operation is performed to check whether the requirement is fulfilled by the developed system or not and when the testing is completed then the developed system is implemented into the real environment and these procedures is called the first iterations or the build first and again when the requirements comes up then again the system design is performed and then testing is performed on the system and after testing implementation is performed and the second version or, or iteration or the second version of the software product is released or we say that the, this is the second iteration or the build 2 and after again and again we have the requirements then we have performed all the operations and these operations are basically the iterations we perform all the iterations and we have the software systems that might be used for the long term and these are represented as the iteration n or the build n thank you thanks for watching in this video we have learned the iterations model and what kind of phases it used to produce a better or the long term projects, please subscribe to CSCM.